How long has the boat been here? Everything's still on board, yeah? Yeah. yeah. As we sail around the world, we collect a lot of memorable moments. Some scary, others not so much. These stories take place in central Vanuatu, which is located just east of Australia and south of the Solomon Islands. Hopefully this isn't too windy, but we're just sailing over to Pentecost, which is the home of the Tower Land Divers. You might have seen it, like National Geographic style, where they jump off uh, towers. But yeah, it's windy today, that's partly why we're moving. Uh, it's blown up from the southeast, the trades are really cranking right now. So we're gonna move behind this uh, next island here in Vanuatu and uh, yeah, let's see some land diving. Yeah, so the tower's right there. Land diving is over right now, because contrary to popular belief, it's actually not rainy season. It's, it's dry season now, which means the vines are not stretchy enough, so they're not jumping anymore. So I think we'll pass. We'll show you, we'll show you another clip from somewhere else on the internet. I had a feeling something would happen tonight because I didn't take off my bra. I'm like still like mostly dressed like a human. Today we saw the biggest sea snake I've ever seen in my entire life. Its head was like this. We always say, oh, they can't, they can't hurt you because you know, they're small. Well, there was one just crawling inside our door. In here. I hate snakes. <laughs> That's where I said, get the knife and just chop them in half. Don't go outside. <laughs> He's curled up in the rope. <laughs> So these are like some of the most venomous snakes, um, but they are apparently not meant to bite because their mouths are teeny, teeny, tiny. But the one I saw today was like massive. This is not how I imagined my evening would go. <laughs> I love your shirt though. I have to say, it's a good snake fighting this shirt. Is my, <laughs> this is my evening shirt. Jimmy Buffett, man. Evening time. Hello, snakey friend. Go down the hole. No, down the hole, down the hole, down the hole, down the hole. You think there's just one on board? <laughs> Look at he's not that small either. But he's long. Should we measure it? Oh gosh, that is creepy. Oh my god. Oh yeah, he's going right to the camera and it's not pointed down. Oh, they are creepy. That's oh, that's so gross. What's he doing now? He's trying to get up. Ashley has like cockroaches and spiders. I have snakes. Like, <laughs> We saw like the biggest sea snake today. It was like this long. His head was like the size of my fist. Like it was disgusting. Help him up. I think we should clear out the pillows to start with. Better check them for more snakes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> we really are pathetic, aren't we? He's coming for you. You might want to back up. Let me just get a little bit more footage. <laughs> oh gosh, he didn't crawl up for rope. Should we build him some stairs? He's like, that guy's been pissing me off. <laughs> Did he just squirt? I don't know. He made a little noisy. <laughs> You're so you got like a smudge on the lens. <laughs> I just want to tongue him. So I got gotta show him who's the captain here. <laughs> no, he really doesn't like the broom. You're just like making him angrier and I just... <laughs> ben, you really close the door, close the door! Oh yeah, here he comes, here he comes. Oh yeah, hello. There's your friend. <laughs> it's like being at the zoo. You might just end up having to chop his head off, you know? I'm not chopping him in half. I have tongers, see? I watched a lot of Steve Irwin when I was a child, so I'm thinking, you know, he didn't die from a snake bite. Maybe. Where's Steve Irwin when you need him? Oh, he's leaving, he's leaving, thank God. I've never been so happy to see a snake climb a wall. No, dude, don't fall down. Don't fall down. Don't fall down. Get your ass up there. Is he off? Yeah, he's off. Oh, yeah, he's swimming down. Oh, thank God. Crisis averted. So he's gone. Awesome. Go home, buddy. Go home. <laughs> 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 
That is so gross. That is so disgusting. Good morning. You gotta check this out. It's just so cool here. There's tide and these fish are just swimming right here. You just, I hope you can see it. Oh yeah, you can see it. Okay, that's pretty cool. This is a cool spot. Uh, we spent yesterday on the island just chilling and checking it out. And uh, today we might have to dive in and go for a swim with the fish, I think. But it's our, our anniversary today. We've been married, we, how long have we been married? We've been married 13 years. We started dating in 1999. Ben's like, oh gosh, it was a 19, wasn't it? And it's hot out today and the sun's out and the fish are out and pretty stoked. It's a good day. We'll catch up with you in a bit. Hey Ben. I'm <laughs> six. Six? Yeah. Do you have six? Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Got it. That's just a typical thing that happens here in Vanuatu. You're having breakfast and the local villagers roll up with fruit and papaya and banana. These pomplamous are probably the best I've ever had. What's your name? Your name? Jonas. Jonas. Yes. And my is? Ashley. 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 Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you, Jonas. Yeah. How much do we owe you? Coconut? Yeah. 30 vatu. 30 vatu. Okay. Paprimos. Siamak. Siamak normal. 30. 30? 30. 30. And the banana? Banana. 30. Okay. 30. Popo. Popo, yeah. Popo. 20. 20. 20. Okay. So 110. Okay. Thank you very much for coming out here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, village is this way? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. He only wanted one dollar for all of this. I didn't have a dollar, so I gave him five. Probably really overpaid, but I was happy to. We gave him some fishing line, some hooks. Uh, we're gonna check out this shipwreck over here. By the way, this is Havana Bay. It is so clear here. No snorkel needed. You can just lay above the water. A lot of corals dead in this area. I'm not sure if that's a cyclone thing or what, but. It looks like it just sort of washed up, like. I mean, yeah, there's some reef here, but it's like deep, deep, deep right up to it. It's not like it got stuck on a reef or anything. This is one of many wrecks around uh, Vanuatu, and it's due to cyclones that come through and just, uh, yeah, annihilate the area. How long has the boat been here? Three years. Three years? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I was the one looking after it. Oh, you're looking after it for the owner? Oh, okay. Everything's still on board, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Which uh, which cyclone was it? Cyclone Pam. Pam. Cyclone Pam. Pam. Okay. Pam did a lot of damage. Yeah. It's almost like they could just pull it off. Like somebody's tried to stop water from getting in there. It's an awfully big thing in your front yard, isn't it? <laughs> Someone said that um, the owner of the ship is bankrupt? Uh, yes. Or is that a rumor? Yeah, but uh, it's one of his sons. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So this one they do know who it belongs to, but the owner has gone bankrupt. So it's kind of like they don't know who who's responsible for cleaning it up. But it's a nice boat. Have a nice Sunday evening. <laughs> you. you can see where it's rusting too, like down there.
We didn't realize when we anchored because you can't actually see the bottom here, but it turns out there's something like big rocks or big bombies down there, but we're properly stuck at the moment. So uh, my dear lovely husband is going to go try and free us. See how this goes. 10 meters deep, so he's just going to start with free diving it and then we'll go from there. It's like properly wrapped around a bobby. You know, you get kind of nervous when your husband can hold his breath for like over a minute. Some people can hold their breaths for three minutes. I can't imagine waiting at the top while he's trying to untangle a balmy and he doesn't come up for three minutes. <laughs> 